Adventures of Ellen White and the Pioneers. A surprise for Ellen and James White. Elder and Sister White were travelling again, and it was very tiresome for them travelling on by train, by boat, by sleigh, or by stagecoach. A stagecoach is something like a big, covered buggy or wagon. We often get tired when we travel now, even though we have nice cars with soft seats to sit in. Cars today can go very fast because there are good roads to travel on. But just think how tired the Whites must have been when they travelled hundreds and hundreds of kilometres by train and stagecoach. In our story this time, they were on their way to the state of Vermont. The roads were rough and dusty, and the horses pulled the stagecoach, and they got very tired quickly because the driver made them run fast. And when they would come to a new town, they would exchange the tired horse for one that was rested and fresh and ready to run. Sometimes, while they were changing the horses and the people were getting a drink, Elder White would take Sister White inside the building and let her lie down and rest for 10 or 15 minutes until the driver was ready to go again. Finally, they arrived at the place for the next meeting. Elder White spoke to the people first, and then Sister White stood up to speak. And the people could see that she was very tired and pale-looking. I'm worried about Sister White, whispered a woman to a lady sitting next to her. She's so tired, she can hardly stand up to speak. Yes, said the other lady. They travel nearly all the time, going from place to place, and they cannot even take their children with them because it's too hard for the children to travel all the time. They must get very lonesome for their children. The stage coaches are rough and they go slowly, and the train takes a long time because they have to stop at every little town. They will soon get sick and not be able to visit us any more. The people at the meeting talked it over and decided that Elder and Mrs. White needed a horse and a buggy of their own. And then they could travel when they felt like it and rest when they got tired. They do not have money to buy a horse and buggy because Elder White cannot work like we do, said one man. He's always travelling and preaching. You see, in those days the preachers did not get paid as our ministers do today. They had to work to earn money whenever they had time, as well as preach. Well, why don't we take up a collection and see if we can get enough to buy them a horse and buggy and surprise them, suggested another man. And everyone agreed. And when the money was counted, there was $175. Then several of the men who had horses to sell agreed to bring them to a certain place on Monday morning and let Elder and Mrs. White choose the horse that they wanted. On Sunday night, Sister White was given a vision of a group of men gathered at the crossroads holding three horses. They had brought the horses for the Whites to inspect and choose one for themselves. The first one was a nervous type of horse and as they stood looking at it, The angel who was acting as a guide said to Sister White, Not that one. Then another man brought a large grey horse that seemed clumsy and awkward. Again the angel said, Not that one. And a third man came leading a beautiful brown horse that seemed to be very gentle and nice. And when this horse was led forward, the angel said, This is the one for you. The next morning, as Elder and Mrs. White arrived at the crossroads where they were to meet the men, they saw the exact picture that Sister White had seen in her vision. Three men with three horses, the nervous sorrel, the clumsy grey one and the spotted chestnut or brown one. Then Elder and Mrs. White were told to choose one of the horses for their very own. 
We will take this one, Sister White said, as she pointed to the gentle brown horse. And then she explained to the people, Last night I was given a vision in which the angel of the Lord spoke to me. I saw this exact group of people standing here, and I saw these three horses led out, and I was told to choose this one. All right, Sister White, old Charlie is yours, said the friends. And then two men stepped forward and hitched up old Charlie to a covered buggy and gave the gift to Elder and Mrs. White. How very happy and grateful Elder and Mrs. White were with this wonderful love gift from their friends. Now travelling would be so much more comfortable for them, and whenever they were tired or hungry or needed to rest, they could simply stop wherever they needed to. And they were especially happy to know that they had such kind and thoughtful friends who had done this act of kindness for them. And as they rode along in their new buggy, they must have talked about the great goodness of God, how one so mighty and powerful was so aware of their need of choosing the right horse that he sent an angel all the way from heaven to tell them which horse to choose. This experience proves the promise in the Bible that tells us that God will take care of our needs if we follow his ways. Matthew 6 verse 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Come and join us next time to hear about a very different day. Thank you.